Most times, before you go to render a final sequence of images, you're going to want to render out a preview animation. Preview animations allow you to test your animation and make sure that everything is working properly before committing to a final render. In this lesson, we're going to create a preview rendering in order to be able to see the camera motion in real time. Let's open a file. From the Application drop-down menu, choose Open. Navigate to the Chapter 6 folder and open the file Chapter 6 Facade03.max. The file opens to the front view of our building facade. If we scrub the timeline, you'll see that we have a 100 frame camera animation. We want to preview this animation without doing a full render to make sure the animation of the camera is the way that we want it to be. To create a preview animation, click on the Tools menu, put your cursor over the Grab Viewport option, and choose the Create Animated Sequence file from the Grab Viewport flyout menu. This opens the Make Preview dialog box. We're first going to look in the Preview Range section. We have two options we can use, the Current Active Time segment, or a custom range to be able to render out a specific range of frames as a preview. In this case, we're going to keep the Active Time Segment option selected. In the Frame Rate section, we're going to render every frame, so we'll leave the every nth frame equal to 1. And since we're rendering this for video and not for film, we want to keep the playback frames per second at 30. Since this is a preview render, we do not need to see the full size of the image to test out the animation. Keep the percent of output value set to 50%. This will use half the resolution of our current active final resolution to create the preview. In the display filter area, uncheck all the options except for geometry. We just want to render only the geometry in this scene. If we're editing after we render this preview, Sometimes it's a good idea to have the frame number and the camera name embedded into the image. In the Overlay section, check the Frame Numbers option and check the Camera Slash View Name option. In the Visual Style area, click the down arrow on the right-hand side of the Rendering Level drop-down list and choose Realistic from the drop-down list. This will render the frame using the Realistic Viewport Rendering settings. In the Output section, click on the Codec option for the AVI selection. In the Video Compression dialog box that opens, choose the Microsoft Video 1 compressor from the Compressor drop-down list. This is a codec that is used to compress the video so that we can play it back as an animation. We'll leave all the other settings at their default and click OK to close the dialog. We want to make sure that we're rendering the Camera 1 viewport. Now that we have all our parameters set, click the Create button to create the preview animation. You'll see 3ds Max running through the frames of the timeline while it creates the preview animation file. When it completes the file, it will open it up in the appropriate media player and play it back. In this case, it opens up Windows Media Player and as you can see, it plays the scene back in real time and has used the realistic shading settings. Creating the preview animation can be a critical step in the success of your animation. I recommend that you make it a part of your production pipeline. It's not only a great visualization tool, but it can help reduce the amount of re-rendering you have to do because of animation issues. Go ahead and press Ctrl S to save the file.